Okay, welcome back. This is going to be uh, the introduction to uh, Steve Reno Cool Kits. Um, Ravel 54 Chevy High Boy. Pick one. Boom. Okay. Like I said over there in the um, miscellaneous stuff video, uh, this is going to be a redo of a kit I attempted way back in 1974. Um, you know what? I it was a glue bomb when I first time I built it uh, back then because that's just where I was with my modeling skills. Uh, obviously, you know, got this off of uh, the internet, and um, man, like I said before, is the internet great? You know, somebody held on to this uh, all these years, uh, what just for me, and um, it found its way into my hands. So we get to try it again. Um, haven't cracked the cover on this. Obviously, the original plastic, if it ever was in plastic, I don't, it seemed like I recall back in the day, models weren't yet being put in plastic. And, um, you know, the guy at the hobby shop always had to watch us kids coming in there, uh, opening up the boxes and they're like little signs and stuff. Do not open box, right? You report to counter, open box with uh, proprietor or something like that. Uh, right there below the uh, right to refuse service to anybody sign. But um, anyway, um, you know, Saturday down at the hobby shop, you know, looking at models that we were going to spend our lawnmower money on, uh, lawn mowing money. That's how we earned our money back in the day. You know, you get your rewards after work is done. So, um, you know, get a haircut, buy a model, get home, build it. You know, that's, that was like typical Saturday in suburban uh, America where I grew up. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> uh, what can I say about this kit? Uh, it was blue. That's what I wanted to say. So I have no idea. But when I had this kit back in the 74, it was molded in blue plastic. And the other thing I remember about it is I somehow got this big eye gigantic idea that I was going to open the doors uh, in the, you know, with the number uh, 11 exacto blade. So <laughs> pretty unskilled kid trying to uh, open the doors for whatever reason. I thought that was a good idea. And uh, just, you know, scratching up and cutting the sides and everything. I mean, I, I recall that. And having to use model putty to fill my, uh, my where I'd gone over, you know, trying to cut the... I, I remember that. So, like I say, those those memories are, are in there in the gray matter. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's crack the cover on this thing. Get my thinking hat out of the way. Um, I've talked about that before. Um, and I can't help looking at anything, but I don't start having ideas. So I've already got ideas about this, but uh, let's see what we got. So we've got uh, a really fantastic box art. Wow. Hey, join the Reveal All-Star Racing Team. Details inside. Okay, we're going to need the time travel machine for that. Uh, side box art. Yeah, okay. You know, I've got a supercharger up there. Uh, seems to me like it's missing an uh, air intake. Um, you know, you're talking about the wheels, Goodyear racing slick, uh, five spoke mags. Yeah. Narrow ones on the front. Uh, Pactra paints. Yeah. I remember those. I remember those Pactra paint uh, uh, bottles that we used to get back in the day. I don't even know if those are still available anymore. Remember those things? Okay. And then, um, wow, this is like memory lane time. Uh, what do we got over here? Um... Uh, when this Chevy came out in 54, everyone said, gosh, what a swell car. And now they're shouting, wow, yeah, out of sight. You know, they're really shouting that now, too, man. I've seen one of these down the street one day. It's cool. Uh, square sedan had been transformed into a high boy, uh, motivating down the road, powered by a 409. Okay, 409 Chevy V8 with custom drag type exhaust. All right, good. Headers, uh, dump tubes. All right, yeah, headers. All right, cool, yeah. Yeah. Maybe some hooker headers there in race suspension all around. Wide treads mounted on five spoke mags. This sedan is moving and grooving, uh, whether you build it for seat, street, or show. All right, chrome bumpers included. Yeah, detailed stock. Buck, okay, 409. Uh, yeah, okay. Tow, uh, tow bar with hitch. Yeah, mufflers. Yeah, okay. And the, this end, I think, is the same as the other Yeah, same as the other end. Okay, yeah. Um, 10 to adult. All right. Well, it looks good. Let's see what we got. Whoa. <laughs> Happy Halloween, man. I guess this is the October model. Um, yeah. Uh, body is in pretty good shape. A little bit of uh, scratching right here, but I can, I can buff that out. 
glasses was so bad. I, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. They'll be able to pop this out, no problem. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Um, yeah, obviously you guys can tell I'm grinning on this thing. Oh, got the super high boy springs on the front. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, it looks like it's all here so far. And I dig that hood. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So far, so great. Uh, whoa. Join the Ravel All-Star Racing Team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We need that time travel machine for this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Danger Will Robinson. Uh-oh. Danger Will Robinson. Uh, 1976 decals. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. Uh, big brands there, so I might have most of the others around. The, the one that's catching my eye that I definitely want to get on here is the hooker header. Um, yeah, I know I've got some of those around. Uh, these typically don't make it. Um, got some of those around. Yeah, okay. But I mean, cool decals. I just hope they survive. <laughs> Every time I tried that before, the old ones don't make it. So join it. I kind of snuck around the corner on the Wild Willie Borscht and got those. Uh, 96 decals to work, but uh, uh, 76 decals, that might be a stretch. Okay, join, fill out this card, send it with a dollar check. Okay, to reveal. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Master Model Club application. That's cool, too. I should mail those in one time and just see what happens. Return to sender address on loan, probably. Um, yeah, I almost had a song, right? <laughs> Okay, wow. I mean, this thing is like all like uh, old newspaper yellow color, you know. Wow, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to start with the frame, you know. Um, yeah, okay, going to get the rear axle going there and then build up the engine. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, this engine might, uh, you know, not a lot of detail on it. I mean, it might, it might make it in the model, guys. I, I have to decide. I mean, I, I mean, this is such a great kit. I might want to go with an aftermarket engine in here. Uh, you know, call my, uh, call the guy at Gopher and see if he makes something like a 409 to go in here because, um, I mean, that's a, you know, that's a 1974 engine. What can I say? Um, yeah, this is another one of those where right away I automatically thinking, I don't want the steering wheel just to be dying into the firewall uh, over here. You know, I, I, I might have to make the steering actually work. Um, I, you know, I, I get those ideas and I just can't be satisfied till I'm, I've done. Yeah, see this, this is kind of what I call hokey phony baloney steering here. It doesn't, the linkages aren't all there to really make it work. So I might have to, I don't know. I might. Let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm gonna actually make the steering. Uh, hold on a second. I, I, Alexa, turn off. How's my music going over there? B52s are getting a little bit loud. Um, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good over there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Oh. Wait a minute. Hey. Uh. What? what are they doing here? They got they got door hinges over here, but and they got interior doors, but oh that's why I had that idea as a kid. They show you can make the doors open. Yep. Okay, so that's where <laughs> right there, that's where Steve Arino, little Steve Arino got ambitious because he saw Exacto Blade coming down here and opening door. That's why I did it. Uh-huh. Well, it isn't their fault, but I just didn't have the skill to pull that off at that time. I mean, you gotta mask this off and you gotta be, re you gotta know what you're doing to get this door open with a number 11 X-Acto knife. Right, I mean, 
that's that you know in the hand of young Stevie that was a pretty tough operation to pull off okay <laughs> didn't go so well but we'll, we'll see what we do I mean I don't really think the door needs to be open I mean I think I think it's gonna be better without it you know and you know I'm not, I'm gonna see plenty I mean I'm I'm not I've already decided I'm not doing that again all right because there's no need to that's my opinion all right well yeah so great and yeah there's a lot of parts in here wow yeah okay a couple different grills in the front yeah well you know obviously I'm gonna dechrome this uh, a little sparse on the header pipes um, hmm I don't know, more and more I'm thinking aftermarket engine. Um, yeah, kind of rubber plastic black tires. Uh, this was like Gen 1 after the white plastic tires that we used to get in models. There was this, and then they got into true rubber tires. So, yeah. Uh, okay, let me, let me move that back a little bit, and then, um, yeah, okay, and, and yeah, 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 what? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, great, and uh, yeah, I don't know, the engine might work, the engine might work, uh, I'm going back and forth on this, whoa, you get tools for the trunk, look at that, when's the last time you saw that, pliers, steel snips, open ends, vice grips, screwdriver, uh, a lug nut, lug, uh, you know, uh, that lug wrench. Wow. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so what am I thinking? Uh, right away, uh, I've already started having, you know, going back to my, um, what, my process, right? My, you know ideation and then design development and gather stuff up. Those are gonna be the first two whistle stops on the Steve Arino process, uh, you know, six steps to a model. So <clears throat> let's see, so um, I'm thinking candy uh, orange body uh, because I really like that and it's October and um, does this thing kind of look like the Great Pumpkin? Charlie Brown's Great Pumpkin. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that. And um, yeah, The Great Pumpkin. There you go, They've already been named. Okay, The Great Pumpkin. And uh, uh, gonna do my all clad chrome. So, you know, gonna have to strip this off and, and do that two part process. Oops, I said, those people, their paint, I keep doing that. Their people, those people, their paint, uh, the two, the black, and then their chrome. And then uh, on surface priming, uh, guys, um, you know, I did that airbrush prime. Uh-uh. No. No dice. I'm going back to... Um, I'm going back to, to... That company from Japan makes this really awesome uh, surface prime. And, you know, my... You can't beat this stuff. I mean, you cannot beat this stuff. This this stuff, what can I say? It is great. <laughs> okay, so I'm going back to that. Um, I've got the clear orange. You know, remember uh, Wild Willie Borscht, clear red? This is its uh, brother color in orange. Really, really, really clear. And, you know, go back to my miscellaneous stuff video. Look at that because, you know, you got to wet sand that body working from 400 to 2000 grit wet sand and when it's really smooth and slick boom then then prime and then paint okay so on that so those those are two things um you know yeah definitely going to do that and and but i'm thinking uh, engine engine i'm going i'm vacillating on that okay so what can i say all right so more later guys uh, I think this is going to be a fun kit for October. Bye.